Welcome back. The Trump administration will lift the federal hiring freeze today. The president is also working to hire more staff for his own administration. He told me in an exclusive interview that opposition is slowing down that process. Watch. I am waiting right now for so many people. You understand. Hundreds and hundreds of people. And then they'll say, why isn't Trump doing this faster? You can't do it faster because they're obstructing. They're obstructionists. So I have people, hundreds of people, that we're trying to get through. I mean, you, have, you see the backlog, we can't get them through. Yeah. And then the newspapers will say, Trump doesn't get them through. Well, it's not, nothing to do with me. Statutorily, you have to go through this process. So it's been a lousy process. It's taken a long time to get uh, my cabinet done. And as you know, it's not even done now. This is record stuff. You know, we're talking about records in terms of time. And it's, it's very sad. Well, you see even again with the Supreme Court judge that everybody agrees is outstanding, and you see what that process is. Absolutely. And the American people know it, I think. I think so they know it. I think they get it. I wish it would be explained better, the obstruction is nature, though, because a lot of times I'll say, well, why doesn't so-and-so have people under him or her? The reason is because we can't get them approved. Well, people are still wondering, though, they're scratching their heads why so many Obama-era staffers are still here. For example, was it a mistake not to ask Jim Comey to step down from the, uh, the FBI at the outset of your presidency? Is it too late now to ask him to step down? No, it's not too late, but, you know, I have confidence in him. We'll see what happens. You know, it's, it's going to be interesting, but, uh, you know, we have to just... Look, I have so many people that want to come into this administration. They're so excited about this administration and what's happening. Bankers, uh, law enforcement people, everybody wants to come into this administration. Don't forget, when Jim Comey came out, he saved Hillary Clinton. People don't realize that. He saved her life because I called Comey one. And I joke about it a little bit. When he was reading those charges, she was guilty on every charge. And then he said she was essentially okay. Director well, that's Comey. why I'm asking. Why is he no, still I'm in just saying, Well, because I want to give everybody a good, fair chance. Director Comey was very, very good to Hillary Clinton, that I can tell you. If he weren't, she would be right now going to trial. Are you going to push that? Are you going to no, push? I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about positive. Uh, in the last weeks of the Obama presidency, he changed all the rules in terms of the intelligence agencies, allowing them to share raw data. Terrible. Why do you think he did this? Uh, well... I'm going to let you figure that one out, but it's so obvious. When you look at Susan Rice and what's going on, and so many people are coming up to me and apologizing now. They say, you know, you were right when you said that. Perhaps I didn't know how right I was because nobody knew the extent of it. When what, you sent that infamous tweet, did, was that what you were referring to, the Susan Rice? Well, sure. We're talking about surveillance. It was wiretapped in quotes. New York Times had the word wiretapped in the headline of the first edition. Then they took it out of there fast when they realized. But I put wiretapped in quotes, meaning, because look, wiretapping is an old fashioned thing. You don't have too many wires anymore. Thing, okay? I mean, you don't you know, have a lot of wires. Look at this room. This room used to have a lot of wires. Now it doesn't have so many wires. But we talked about surveillance or whatever. And you look at the extent of the surveillance, me and so many other people, it's, it's terrible. She said she didn't do it for political reasons. Susan Rice told Does Andrew Mitchell. Does anybody Mitchell. really believe that? Nobody believes that. Even the the people that try to protect her in the news media. It's such a big story, and I'm sure it will continue forward. But uh, what they did is horrible. 